Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1982. Today, we're going to talk about River Raid. The story of River Raid takes us back to Activision. We have talked about Activision several times before. Activision was responsible for Kaboom! We last talked about Activision in our video on Pitfall. River Raid was created by Carol Shaw. Carol Shaw had worked for Atari from 1978 to 1980. She had made a couple games while there, including 3D Tic-Tac-Toe and Video Checkers, both for the Atari 2600. After a brief stint at Tandem Computers, Carol Shaw was hired by Activision in 1982. River Raid was her first project for the company. River Raid is a vertically scrolling shooter for the Atari 2600. The player flies a fighter jet over the River of No Return, fighting enemies behind enemy lines. The player will encounter tankers, helicopters, fuel depots, jets, and bridges. If the player touches an enemy or the banks of the river, or the jet runs out of fuel, the player will die. Flying over a fuel depot will replenish the player's fuel. Activision released River Raid for the Atari 2600 on December 13th, 1982. That is the short backstory to River Raid. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. And here we are in the game. This is River Raid. As you can see, it does have the classic Activision logo and copyright at the bottom of the screen. And like a lot of Atari 2600 games, it's pretty simple to just pick up and play this game. So let's go ahead and do that. We will start the game. There is our plane. And let's get going. So... Uh, you want to fly over these fuel depots here. Uh, you don't want to actually shoot them, because you can. Uh, but shooting them does not replenish your fuel. You want to actually fly over them, as I mentioned before. Uh, here's a bridge. You're going to want to destroy that. And we're on to the second level. All right, let's actually get some fuel here. Uh, this game does have an auto fire. I do not like using it, though because it'll destroy too many fuel depots. And I need those. No, I was trying to avoid things and got hit instead. All right. Ah, they come at you from all sides here. Uh, yeah, the game's fairly straightforward. There's not a lot going on here that will surprise you. Uh, apparently things from the side surprise me all the time though. I let them run into me far too often. Uh, you cannot go up and down on this one. You can only go left and right. But those are, uh, you know, limitations of the system. We have talked about the limitations of the Atari 2600 before. Uh, there are no exceptions for this game. And there we go. Alright, 4160. That's not the best score that I've had. So let's try it again. See what I can do. Do you get points for blowing these up? You do. To be honest, there's not too much to see further on than what I've already shown, but we will still try to go a little bit further. All right there. I don't know why you get points for destroying the fuel depots. Maybe they are enemy fuel, but if they are enemy fuel, why are you getting credit for, uh, for using them? Like, why do you get refueled at them? Maybe because the game is more simplistic than I want to, want to believe. All right, we're going to need some of this. Now, I actually needed that. All right, another bridge down. See, now we're doing much better. Just takes a little bit to get back into the swing of things. Ah, I thought I could, sh thought I could shoot that one in time. Still want to go left. There we go. Didn't mean to destroy that. And there we go. On to the next one. Ah, there's so much going on. Let's 
There's just a lot. All right. We got one more life, I believe. And, yeah, didn't expect that one to move at the end there. I should have, though. All right, so 60-60. I think I got one more run in me. Let's try one more time. But that is essentially the game. Not a lot of surprises, hidden features. It's River Raid. Well, it really is the Atari 2600. And this is a really good game for it. All right, we're doing all right this time. Just avoided that, and I, I, by the time it started moving, I knew I couldn't hit it. I was hoping to avoid it on the right. Now you can turn on the auto fire here, and it goes pretty quick, but you know, you're gonna need fuel at some point, so auto fire is, oh, not your best option. I got greedy for the fuel. And you can shoot the fuel depot while you're being recharged on it. Alright, no fuel this time. Just go for the bridge. Now the bridges are the... Uh, are necessary. You have to destroy them. If you hit the bridge, you will die. There we go. Much better. No, all right, ah. couldn't quite get there in time. Had to make the decision, went left because of the plane, and it cost me. There goes my fuel. See, that's what I was trying to do before. No. Got that one just in time. All right, we got there. Okay, just trying to survive. Nah. All right, so 5760, about where I was last time. Uh, there's not too much to, more to the game than what you have seen here, like I have said. So, with the game now played, let's talk about how the game holds up today. Playing the game today, I do have to say that the game is fun. It is a uh, pick-up-and-play game that you can easily understand once you know the small tidbit of information about the fuel depots uh, because my instinct is always kind of to shoot uh, the fuel depots but that's not how you refuel you have to fly over them in this game other than that one small piece of information this game is very easy to hand to a new player and let them go and they'll fully understand what's going on in the game and that's what you really want from an atari 2600 game because the console is not necessarily that powerful and it's not going to be able to handle uh, anything too complex and I think that this game does utilize uh, the Atari 2600 as best as it can. Uh, you can see the limitations are mostly on the console, not on the game itself. Uh, the graphics are really good for the Atari 2600. There is no doubt what I am shooting. Uh, there is no doubt uh, that I am on a river. Uh, everything makes sense to me. And that's not always the case for the Atari 2600. Uh, would I like a s little bit more detail on, you know, the actual fighter jet that we're using compared to everything else? Sure, but I understood what it was that I was using as opposed to, you know, like a dot that we've seen in other games. Uh, the sound also is uh, quite good. Uh, I recognize the explosions. That sounded like an explosion to me right off the bat. Uh, the firing, not quite as good, but I, I knew what was happening uh, thanks to the sound. Uh, in terms of the gameplay, I think the gameplay is pretty good. Uh, it's difficult because it's limited uh so i ended up dying quite a bit but every death that i had i felt was fair there was not really a time that i thought oh that shouldn't have been a death uh in terms of replayability it's probably not a game that i would want to go back to there are better uh shooters that we have played already i would say Xevious from the last video was a better shooter but uh for the atari 2600 this is a good game and i feel that it is worth checking out and that is my modern take on the game.
When River Raid was released, the game would prove to be popular, selling over 500,000 units. The critics were also positive about the game. In particular, the level design for the game was praised. However, the game's popularity led to the game receiving some negative attention as well. River Raid would become the first game banned for minors in West Germany due to its violent content. River Raid would spawn ports, a sequel, and re-releases. We will keep an eye on these as we continue. As time has gone on, River Raid has remained popular. River Raid, or at least one of the versions of River Raid, has even made lists of the best video games of all time. With another hit on their hands, Activision continued to position itself as one of the best video game developers for the Atari 2600. We will hear from Activision again. As for Carol Shaw, although she would work in the industry for a couple more years, she never attained the success of River Raid again. While she did program a couple of the ports from River Raid, we will not be hearing too much from Carol Shaw again. That will do it for the story of River Raid for now. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video when we rush things.